Lay on your back with your legs straight. Pull your abdominals in to have your spine pressing into the mat. Reach your arms above your head. Inhale to raise your arms towards the ceiling, rounding your head and shoulders off the mat. Exhale to curl your upper body forward. Inhale to begin to roll down, rolling down slowly one vertebrae at a time. Reach your arms back over your head and repeat the roll up. Reach through the fingertips towards your toes as you round over your legs, keeping your spine in a C shape as you roll down slowly. As you round up, squeeze your inner thighs and behind muscles. You wanna keep your legs on the floor. If you have trouble with this, use a modification like bending your knees to help protect your back during the exercise. Remember to keep your neck in good alignment. Keep your chin into your chest, shoulders up, back and down. Keeping your abs pulling in as you exhale deepens the curve of your spine. This is what will get you up. Try not to use momentum or swinging. The slower the movement forces you to have greater control, ultimately strengthening your muscles deeper and deeper. To intensify, take your hands behind your head once you've rounded up. Sitting up tall on your sit bones, leaning back with a long lengthened spine, elbows wide, chest open, and roll down slowly and control, just like the beginning. One well done roll up is equal to six regular sit ups and is much better than a crunch for creating a flat stomach. Roll up will help strengthen the spine as well as the abdominals. Repeat this six to eight times and keep your breath evenly throughout an entire move. Lying on your back, knees bent, feet flat. Engage your stomach muscles in and pull your knees into the chest. Take a deep breath in and round your head, neck, shoulders up off the floor. Reach your hands behind the head, keeping your elbows high and wide. Lengthen your right leg long. Breathe in and twist towards the left. Hold and then switch your twist, switching your legs. Use that breath in and breath out as you hold. Switch breathing in, breathe out and hold. Try not to tilt or rock your body as you twist with your spine. Continue doing this exercise trying to do 6 to 12 twists. You're working your stomach very hard, especially your obliques. To come out of this, relax your head, neck, shoulders down and pull your knees into your chest. Lying flat on the floor, knees bent, feet flat. Engage your stomach muscles in and gently bring your knees into your chest. Then make sure that lower back is melting the floor and your upper body relaxed. Taking a deep breath in, Gently, you're going to lift your head, your neck, and your shoulders up off the floor, reaching your hands towards your shins and or towards your ankles. You're going to reach your hands long, legs long, and gently pull your knees back into the chest, breathing in as you lengthen your body, breathe out as you pull your knees back in. Extend your arms and legs in opposite directions, but keep them parallel to the floor. Keep your chin tucked into the chest, try not to let the head fall back. You don't want to hurt your neck. You're going to repeat this exercise 8 to 12 times. You can modify by leaving your head down and or working with your legs higher. Make sure you keep your legs tightly together as you extend them long. Come out of this exercise, relax your head, neck, shoulders down, and take your feet back to the floor. 